I think it's very important for an artist to actually be engaged and really thinking through their practice. When you talk about the distillation of an idea into a kind of work or body of works, I think it's key. You know, you can really see when something is is a bit ill thought through. But I think it's also quite important to not know. You know, there's that space where you actually clear your head and you kind of realize the limits of your knowledge and you go out and speak to people. I'm a great believer in dialogue. Equally, you can see when some stuff becomes too academic and overthought. So it's, it's, a, it's a tricky balance to get right. But it's sort of hitting that sort of sweet spot or continuum where you're in the sort of flow where ideas and action kind of coalesce into something greater than you could have imagined before you set out. With, you know, my most recent and hence most ambitious project, Leviathan, that was a good two years from inception to exhibition in Venice recently. I mean, that was the most ambitious project yet because there were so many moving parts. I couldn't even tell you at what point that moved from idea to action because it was constantly doing so. So the whole project was trying to wed the kind of seemingly disparate disciplines of marine conservation, migration, and mental health issues within our ecosystem and use the ecosystem as a way to kind of hold all those three ideas in one container. But that took years of just literally meeting with oceanographers, marine biologists, migrant rights activists, trauma specialists, to start to get a sense of what those connections were. For example, the project consists of a of painting, sculpture, a cycle of films. The first two of a cycle of 10 were presented at Venice. So it's, a, it's intended as a 10 episode cycle running till 2020 with various institutions to come. As projects get more complex, this sort of movement between the thought process or the research process and the action becomes far more complex and you might be doing both at the same time in, in different parts of the project. You know, I'd say that all of my projects are connected via a, a research process, but also there's always a sort of fluid movement where one thing I'm researching, like a particular history or narrative, say with my Kalimpong exhibition that was at Timothy Taylor Gallery in London last year, was a very particular kind of homed in research around the Indian Himalayas and the sort of evolving politics and intrigue that, that had been going on there from the late 19th century through the 20th. Whereas, you know, with Leviathan, it's sort of into the present sort of in terms of the some of the more urgent issues of our day but it's imagining speculative futures where humanity is broken down by not addressing some of the current fault lines uh, we encounter uh, but it was also looking at the past at past ideas of the marine environment as a metaphor and allegory so looking at say thomas hobbes's leviathan as a sort of structural critique of the functioning of state politics. So I'm always, I think, playing across histories, past, present and future. I think that's the role of the artist. It's to mine the past in order to kind of explore the future.